Hello and welcome to Dolly Dwellings. My name is Dreams of Violets. I'm a doll collector. Dolly Dwellings is the name I have given to my collection. Today I would like to show you some of the dolls that I have accumulated over time. The first doll I would like to share with you is my pull-up Zuora. This is her little hangout. And down below we have her sister, my pull-up Myrrh in her wonderful stock. Next, I'm going to take you up to my favorite pull-up, my pull-up Veritas Veritas. She is my favorite. Um, she got pushed back when I was purchasing dolls. I kept She was on the list, but she kept getting pushed back, and finally I was like, I really want this girl. And of course, then she became really difficult to find, but I did find her and at a great price, and it all worked out. Um, I forgot to say, I think I said that my Zuora and my Murr were my first pull-ups. They were, but they were not my first dolls in the pull-up family. That was my Tang Jade. He has the most developed backstory of all my pull-ups. Um, I love him to death. I've noticed... Well, my favorite color is purple, hence my name, Dreams of Violets. And he's got this great purple hair. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. But I like dolls with purple hair, purple eyes, purple accessories. I've noticed that. Oh, I think you might have saw. He has no foot right now. Yes, we're going to be buying him a new body. Um, my newest purchase is my pull up my Tang Wayne Wayne um, I wasn't sure I was gonna like him I was wrong I love him he's fantastic one of the things I didn't like about him in the picture his goldy golden eyes I really like him he's definitely no police officers though he's far too laid back for that next I'm gonna take you down to my some of my dolls let's see we have my first doll that I got, which was my Durta. Super cute with her ponytails. Next to her, we have Lizbell. I have changed everybody's names. I'll probably tell you names and personalities at a later date. But right now, I'm just telling you, you know, what, what their stock names were. And here's my favorite doll of all. Got to get her pin in this because she is. She's my favorite. She's got a great sense of style. This is my Tezka. So next we're going to move on over to my some of my Blythes. Um, looks like they're all dressed up fancy for you. We have over here, she's an Ashton Drake one. Um, she's a pinafore purple. I call her Penny. Then we have Simply Peppermint, Simply Lilac. They're sisters. Um, if you read my doll blog, you know my Simply Lila, um, Lilac. Her name is Lavinia. And, um, she's the she's the, thinks she's the unofficial queen um, of Dolly Dwellings and she writes a column that's quite um, only her opinion like from her point of view only not very objective about the things that go on over in our Dolly world um, let's see where should I show you next um, I don't consider myself to be a boxed doll um, collector but I do have quite a few boxed Barbies. Let's go down. Here are some. Like, they're all, you know, boxed all behind them. Here's some more. Then up on the top, I have a few boxed ones and a lot of ones not boxed. Let's see. Let's go all the way up. Yeah, I don't 
they make a cute couple. I think so. I'm going to do a photo shoot with them soon. And the shelf I just sort of, I just cleaned off. Try to make room for some more things. He's my newest purchase. I just bought him yesterday, I think. Then we're going to, I think, move on over. We have more boxed Barbies. I'm standing on this table. Moving down, and here are some La La Loopsies. I did not think I was going to want the large La La Loopsies at all. I was wrong. I love her. And then, of course, when Mr. Patch came out, he was a must. I haven't taken any photos of him yet. Behind them, I have all the Wonderland lives. They are the only lip dolls I have, and right now they're the only ones I want. I hope it stays that way. I love that French Court Barbie. They are have been deboxed, but I just keep them in the box when they're in there. Same with my Lala Loopsies. They both have been, like, you know, taken out and everything. But and here I have my wonderful Elowen Wild. She's fantastic. I love her to death. She also um, is featured on my doll blog. She has um, her diary and her shrink sessions. Then in this little box, I have the keychain um, Pukaloos that I cut off. I loved the Pukaloos, but I don't collect stuffed animals because I feel like with my dolls, it's enough. And I, I collect some other toys too, but mostly dolls. And um, also, I don't know how true it is, but I've heard they're not the most sanitary, like they collect, collect dust mites and everything. But if they're dolly sized, I'd like to make an, an exception. Oh, I forgot when I was talking about my... Um, lives to talk about mystery she is my little guinea pig whatever she turns out to be her name is going to stay mystery but I'm using her to try to teach myself how to um, customize next I'm going to go back over here to sort of my little hodgepodge area oh I see some of my Pez dispensers fell I only collect Hello Kitty Pez dispensers because that's all I will allow myself to do to do you know there's a fine line between collector and hoarder I'm trying not to cross the line um, my tragic toys I've just ordered the other two finally I kind of forgot about them for a while and then was looking at them and I'm like I really need them so I've got a manchi chi my strawberry shortcake my who what doll collector doesn't love Coraline a mini pull up and a petite, the, one of the petite lives from, you know, the Littlest Pet Shop and a zebra, Littlest Pet Shop. I don't know if you've noticed, there's quite a few zebra things. I'm also not only purple, but here we have my Moxie dolls. I never planned on collecting Moxie dolls. I only bought them for outfits. But first, I'm a sucker for any dolls in princess wear, and they just were really cute. Um, which is funny because I cannot stand um, brats. I find them really unattractive. I love this little moxie boy, Owen. He's got a great mohawk. He's got a great face. Oh, I forgot to talk about my moxie teens. Back up here for a minute. These are my moxie teens. Um, they can, they can fit Ken shoes and some Ken shirts if you're looking for clothes for them. She's my favorite. She's Jasmine. I've made her Indian. 
as a person of color, I love when I can find a doll of color that is in stock and that I love, that I love the face mold or, you know. But I obviously don't discriminate. I love them all. And last, well, not last, over here we have Monster High dolls. I have all of them out so far, except for um, Gloom Beach Cleo, and that's only because I did not like her. She did not do anything to me, and you know, I'm trying to save money wherever I can when you have this crazy expensive collect um, obsession collection, whatever. I should probably pay for therapy instead of dolls, but oh well. And last down here, the dolls that are an acquired taste, but I love my living dead dolls. They have great stories. They're fantastic dolls and they're really expensive. Um, if you get the ones out right now, they're about $25. There are some coveted ones that are get way up there, but they're generally around the 25 to $35 range. And because I like irony, I have all the mini La La Loopsies hanging out with them. Back around there. And I guess that's um, it for right now. I certainly hope to enjoy. I certainly hope you've enjoyed it and I certainly hope come and visit again. Bye bye for now. One more thing. I forgot I wanted to show you one another new purchase, which is this um, Ursula doll. They made a villain. How wonderful is that? It's really hard to come by a good villain. Now, if only they could make a Maleficent, then everything would be fantastic. Oh, and Cinderella's stepmother. She'd be a great doll. All right. Now I'm really saying goodbye. Bye.